Testing mic one, two, three, four, five. Testing mic one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if this is working. And so far, it looks like it is. So good news at this point in time. It looks like we are back and not having too much of any other major problems, at least where netcasting is concerned. So good news there. Welcome, everybody, for uh, live and direct from House Onik. I am meteorologist Austin Onik with a kind of a semi-special update, as you may notice, coming to you again from the friendly confines of House Onik instead of downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Wanted to thank everybody for, first of all, sticking with me on social media, even though I've been a little bit on the inactive side in the last couple of days to about the last week or so and just uh, wanted to quash some rumors that have been popping up on social media as well for right now. I have not been on News Channel 3. It is not because I have been fired or suspended or have a drug addiction or anything like that. I am taking some time off per doctor's orders. Uh, being diabetic type 2 is something that you need to take very seriously, especially where it comes to diet and injuries. And I had an injury on the bottom of my foot, a blister burst underneath a callus, and it was getting better for a period of time. But then about maybe a week and a half to two weeks ago, kind of took a turn for the worse, which meant that over a period of a couple of days, I wound up in the hospital and now being treated with antibiotics and keeping track of my uh, diet very carefully. I am home, but as you can see here, this is not the News Channel 3 studios. So for the time being, I am going to be uh, on bed rest for the most part. I can get up and get a little bit of exercise every day, uh, make sure the wound's taken care of. No, for those of you who are curious out there, not going to show you what it looks like in graphic detail. That's something you can go uh, you know, look up on your own for later on. Suffice it to say, basically, the wound is healing uh, on my foot, and it is getting better. It's just that I have to wear a special shoe to get around, and I will be, again, uh, resting as much as possible in order to make certain that I am able to stay healthy. And so that is why I was not on the air last week. I will not be on the air again this week, as I will be here uh, kind of convalescing by just a little bit. Uh, several people at the News Channel 3 studios, uh, Corey Ventura, thank you very much for the flowers from the assignment desk. I appreciate that. Uh, Co-anchors uh, Nina Harrelson and Zanetta Lowe, uh, thank you very much uh, for the concerns out there. And of course, to a lot of my family and friends for uh, keeping an eye on me, noticing that I was not on air. So again, thank you very much. Uh, for that, and I will be back with you again. Uh, hopefully, everything appears to be on the mend, so good news on that. When I get to come back to the station, and maybe on a limited schedule, but again, that's up to my doctor's office, so we'll wait for that to see what goes on. Either way, thanks to everybody for the concern, but not as bad as some of the rumors are uh, out there at this point in time. I am not a drug addict. I have not been suspended because of anything like that. I am on some pretty serious antibiotics, but that's about the extent of it. The only addiction I've ever had is to uh, root beer and good coffee, so that should pretty well clear that up for there. And again, for the rest of the next couple of weeks, you may see me on at various points in time. Uh, thanks to my colleagues in the News Channel 3 weather office for doing a good job of filling in for me. I really do appreciate the help on that as we all do a good job filling in for each other uh, as we have seen before in the past when sickness, vacation, or emergencies have cropped up. So thank you again uh, very much, Tim, Todd, and Jim for helping out on that. Okay, so enough of the convalescing hospital report. Let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, what's going on out there where it comes to weather for the course of the next couple of days. Starting off with our camera from Germantown. A lot of clouds out there, a lot of uh, very hazy conditions, very humid across the Mid-South for right now, and more of those clouds are going to be popping up throughout the course of the next several days. And again, going to continue to see these kind of humid, very sultry conditions out there. So get used to that out there. Golf course at Windyke Country Club, not too far away from the Germantown City Hall camera. And again, looking back toward the area of Southeast Memphis, a few golfers out there for for early on Friday evening. Uh, hitting the links. Doesn't look too bad out there for a quick golf game before sunset. And a view from the square in Collierville. A lot more clouds out there. A little bit more rainfall from time to time. And any outdoor activities this weekend, definitely have to take uh, that into account as we see a ton of moisture out there uh, just sitting around the News Channel 3 viewing area. 
kind of at the top central portion of your screen. Uh, tons of moisture out there, kind of a large, broad, lazy loop. That's, again, an area of low pressure making its way through, and that's what we're seeing in the way of cloud cover for right now. Uh, severe weather potential, we'll take a look at that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. From our interactive radar page, a good opportunity to get, again, a lot of good information about what's going on out there. And again, keeping Memphis and Shelby County basically right in the middle of this, you can get here by going to wrhe.com slash weather uh, for more information. Kind of bracketed on all sides by scattered showers and again, heaviest activity in and around the metro area. Lakeland, Arlington, back up to around the area of northwestern Fayette County and southern areas of uh, Tipton County picking up some heavier amounts of rainfall there. Uh, we're not seeing anything at this time in the way of severe weather. Again, that could be a bit of a problem out there for later on. Going to add the lightning layer to this and show you that we do have, again, a few thunderstorms back over to around, say, uh, Jackson, Henderson, Tennessee, picking up a little bit of activity, and then also into and around northern Mississippi from around Tishomingo County in the upper right-hand corner of the screen over there, all the way back to close to Potts Camp, Holly Springs, and close to around Oxford. This is going to be a concern for later on tonight as we see again uh, the potential for maybe, again, the possibility of more of these stronger thunderstorms in eastern parts of Arkansas. So I would not be surprised to see some rumbles of thunder out there as we go throughout the course of the uh, next couple of days. Good possibility of that. Uh, thanks to everybody for, again, the uh, great comments out there. Thanks a lot for the uh, prayers out there as well for everybody else. Uh, thanks a lot again for everybody for tuning in for this tonight. And again, thank you very much uh, for the uh, very kind words out there. Uh, one inf bit of information on the severe side, kind of, sort of. Again, we have a uh, flash flood watch in effect for basically all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Now down toward Panola, Quitman, Coahoma counties in Mississippi, you are not under this watch. Phillips County in Arkansas, also you are not under this watch at this time. Uh, this is going to aggravate the river situation out there, so it's a good possibility the Mississippi River in the bright green will be seeing, again, the potential for a rapid rise in water heading down the channel. And we've got even more uh, north of us upstream. Now, into the next couple of days, the good news at this time is that the heaviest amount of rainfall is going to be back to our east and down to our south. So we're not seeing a lot of major problems with this uh, at this point. But we're going to take a look at the one to three day total, which will be ending on uh, through next Tuesday. And you can see again a very healthy dose of rainfall, mainly on the far side of the Appalachians, but we could see some of that heavier rain uh, back around the area of Nashville, central Kentucky, middle Tennessee. That's going to drain into the Ohio down into the Mississippi, so we could see some more river rises from that into the course of the next couple of days. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for there. Storm Prediction Center is showing, again, a potential for uh, damaging wind gusts being a problem in that hatched area that you see in the middle of your screen from northwest Alabama all the way down to almost Orange Beach uh, into and around close to uh, Dauphin Island and southern Mississippi. Could be the possibility of some strong thunderstorms, borderline severe for us here in the Mid-South area, just to the upper left of this display. So again, we could see some more problems with severe weather, but mostly in that brown area that you see from Alabama into Mississippi. That's where we're going to be seeing, again, that potential uh, into and around the area for the worst of the worst uh, into and around the Mid-South. So that's where we could see the worst problems for tonight. Uh, overnight and into the weekend could be the possibility of some more problems out there. Uh, here's what it looks like again for the rest of the evening. Mostly going to be looking at the potential of low temperatures tonight, not all that low, mid to upper 60s, and there will be the possibility about a 60 to 70 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the evening and into tomorrow morning. High temperatures on Saturday, a little bit nicer thanks to the clouds and the rainfall blocking out uh, the heavier possibility of sunshine. So lower 80s for high temperatures tomorrow, but the best possibility of rainfall kind of scooting out of the Mid-South by later on during the day with a 70% chance east of Dyersburg, Jackson, and down into and around the portions of northeastern uh, Mississippi. Now by Saturday night, 
Low temperatures again dropping to the upper 60s to around about the lower 70s and could be again that potential for more rainfall mainly east of the Mississippi River. Going into Sunday, not quite as warm, maybe just a little bit warmer out there back in the lower to mid 80s and chances of rainfall remain back toward middle Tennessee. Going quickly into Sunday night, lows back in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s and chances of rainfall really take a downturn. Uh, they may be starting to come back again as we go into next week, so that be, it could be a problem. And on Monday, temperatures remain blessedly a little bit less hot back in the lower 80s across much of the area. Don't forget you can check out, again, all the weather information, our forecasts around the Mid-South. Our latest video forecast is on here. Day-by-day uh, -day forecast is available as well. Pollen information, current weather details, and our seven-day forecast, which you can access uh, on the weather page. That's at wreg.com slash weather. And then you can click on all sorts of information out there, including, again, our seven-day forecast. So that'll keep you updated as we go throughout the course of the next several days. So that can help you keep you informed. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, again, for more information on that. Once again, just convalescing here at home, nothing more serious than that. Uh, if you're a diabetic and you need to pay attention to what's going on with your diet as well, that's something that I need to kind of keep my eyes on. And thanks to all my doctors out there for uh, helping out. Had a wound in the foot for those of you tuning in a little late. We're getting it taken care of. I'm just here on some partial bed rest and making certain that I don't uh, wander around too much on it to aggravate it even more. Won't be on this weekend on air We'll probably be back, depending on what the doctor says, next weekend or following, but we're kind of kind of taking it week by week at this point in time. But on the mend, much healthier, looking a lot better at this point in time. Thanks to everybody out there again for the kind wishes, the concerns, the prayers, and everything else at this point that uh, you've been expressing out there. Very uh, humbling, very nice to see everybody out there keeping track of what's going on. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do more of these video links as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. So keep it tuned here and we'll do our best to keep you updated online, especially if we have the chance of more showers and thunderstorms out there. So definitely want to keep it tuned on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything like that that you want to do on that? That. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com. Uh, email about the best way to get in contact with me. I don't really do the chat stuff online too much anywhere uh, unless it's like a weather discussion someplace, so that's about it. That'll do it for now, and again, thanks to everybody for tuning in for tonight, and again, we'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the week. Thank you again for all the prayers and good wishes and everything else, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the rest of the weekend for your complete updated Mid-South forecast. Thanks for joining us tonight.